Hello and welcome to your five minutes or so Manchester United news, transfers and gossip column with me, Seb Parkinson. We're recording this in the aftermath of quite possibly United's darkest day under Eric Ten Hag. United have been dumped out of the Carabao Cup and quite possibly the worst performance I have seen in the Ten Hag era. With that, we'll start with the news that the sackrace.com are reporting Eric Ten Hag is a short 5-4 to four to be the next Premier League manager to depart their current club only second to Sheffield United's Paul Heckingbottom. Staying with last night's game briefly, it has been confirmed by United that Rafael Varane's omission from the defeat was due to illness and nothing more sin sinister, such as a falling out with the manager, as some suggested online. Casemiro was subbed off at half-time and similar to Varane, United have confirmed he was carrying a knock. You'll recall he suffered an ankle injury on international duty with Brazil recently. However, Eric Ten Hag has not confirmed the nature of the injury, but did confirm he will miss the trip to West London at the weekend as United head to Fulham. Gary Neville has once again gone on the offensive of the ownership and senior leadership of Manchester United, putting more pressure on them to move on from the club, citing, in the last four days, we've seen right in front of our eyes where you end up with over a decade of awful decisions. Fortunes wasted, anger turned to apathy, our reputation destroyed at home and in Europe. Infrastructure well below standards and we all can't wait for a total change in leadership. Moving on from the game then and to matters elsewhere, United have confirmed a memorial service is to be held for Sir Bobby Charlton at Manchester Cathedral. The service will take place at Manchester Cathedral on Monday, November the 13th at 2pm. The procession to the cathedral will also pass by Old Trafford where fans will be able to say a final farewell to the club legend. Just a reminder here that the latest Manchester's Red podcast is available now to watch on YouTube and listen to wherever you get your podcasts. Now on to the best bit of the video, it's transfer gossip time! You may remember it was reported United will be in for Vinicius Junior. Well, you can forget that because he just signed a new contract with Real Madrid. United are very keen on signing Galatasaray right-back Sasha Bowie, according to a report by Sporks. Bowie is 23 years of age and has a market value of 17 million euros. He's versatile and can play on both sides of the defence, something Eric Ten Hag likes in a player. But he prefers the right-back slot over the left. He's a very durable boy and has played every single minute of every single game so far for Galatasaray this season, which is great for United, especially given the persistent problems with injuries we've had this season. But what does that mean for Wan-Bissaka and Dallow? Well, Dallow signed a new long-term contract in May, keeping him at the club until 2028 with an option for a further year. While Wan-Bissaka's deal ends next June and contract talks are believed to have stalled. However, it's fully expected United will extend that by their optional year and re-sign the player for the long term. Dallow has been filling in most recently with Wan-Bissaka out injured, but he's been very underwhelming of late. Whatever the case, if United are serious about bringing Bowie in, one of the two right-backs will surely have to be sold to make space, which, given wan contract not yet extended, could be a move already beyond the planning stage. Flipping to outgoings briefly, West Ham are once again being linked to Manchester United's players, as the case in the summer. However, with Maguire still on their radar, McTominay has been swapped for Anthony Martial, according to journalist Rudy Galetti. United fans will not want to see Martial play in the red of Manchester United ever again and will likely offer to pay for the Frenchman's taxi themselves if an offer is submitted. However, Maguire has been on the resurgence of late, and I honestly believe he's changing the opinions of fans who were keen to see him leave in the summer. Maguire has fought his way back into the team, and for me personally, I think United would be silly to let him go, especially given the injury records of Varane and Martinez this season. For those interested, Martial's contract expires next June, but similar with wan -Bissaka, United can activate a one-year extension, which they may do to recoup a small fee, then letting him leave on a free. But to be perfectly honest, United should be shipping him out of the club sooner rather than later. Back to incomings then, and our good friends at Calcio Mercato have reported United as targeting AC Milan winger Rafael Leao. With Marcus Rashford's form falling off a cliff and Vinicius Junior signing a new deal with Real Madrid, United could look to bring in reinforcements on that left side. However, as I said with the Vinicius Junior link, I just don't think there's any legs in it. Rashford's form will return and Garnacho will hopefully develop into a world beater, meaning United won't need to touch that left-hand side for a fair few years. If you watched last week's video, you may have seen De Gea linked with a sensational return to Old Trafford. Well, that move has gone quiet and United are now being linked with a move for FC Porto goalkeeper Diogo Costa in January, according to a bowler. 
Costa was heavily linked with a move to Old Trafford prior to the club's decision to sign Andre Onana in the summer. It is claimed United have started gathering data about his recent performances with the anticipation Andre Onana will jet off to AFCON and Ten Hag is seemingly reluctant to rely on his two backup goalkeepers. Man United are one of many teams keeping an interest in PSG youngster Warren Zaye Emery, according to reports. The 17-year-old has apparently attracted the attention of notably Manchester City and Bayern Munich, among others. Zaye Emery's contract runs until 2025, and the midfielder has a current valuation of an eye-watering €50 million. Euros. He's definitely one to watch for the future, if not the present. United could reunite Mason Mount with a former teammate if the rumours of Trevor Chaloba, 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 sorry if I butchered your name, joining ring true. Team Talk have reported United as seriously considering a move for the 24-year-old centre-back. Chaloba hasn't played a minute of football this season, though, as he's recovering from a thigh injury. His return is as yet unknown. So it could be a bit of a gamble for Ten Hag if he makes the move, having not seen the player perform in the flesh since May, where he played 90 minutes at Old Trafford in a 4-1 defeat. Back to outgoings to finish off this section. And Borussia Dortmund are reportedly exploring options to re-sign Jadon Sancho with the player still exiled by Eric Ten Hag over a social media post from back in September. It's claimed that Dortmund are ready to let Jamie Bino Gittens leave on loan to free up space for Sancho's return. And finally, to finish the video off, Samuel Luckers has dropped an exclusive on the Manchester Evening News this morning, citing some Manchester United players are starting to doubt Eric Ten Hag's credentials as manager. Dressing room sources have told the Manchester Evening News doubts are growing over Eric Ten Hag, and there is a simmering resentment among certain players towards teammates, some players are also unimpressed with the general direction of the club as its strategic review enters its 12th month. If you want to read more on these stories, head over to the Manchester Evening News website. The link is in the description. And for live updates as they happen, give us a follow on Twitter, a like on Facebook, and of course, subscribe here on YouTube and Spotify for the latest Manchester's Red podcasts as and when they drop. Anyway, I've been Seb Parkinson, you've been you, and I hope you have a great day wherever you are in the world.